people, DG, I'm back again. I can't believe you know Emery didn't rate Jeffrey Ney Adelaide, you know, or if he did, he probably didn't have high hopes of him or, or whatnot. Um, I say this because obviously we knew his contract was winding down, so a decision had to be made. He's 2021. 20, but when you look at the, 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 the dire options that have been in our squad from midfield and wide is issues, um, wide positions, sorry, the issues with both. You look at how much the squad has been stretched. You look at our bench, there's, and more often than not, there's been no real quality or attacking players to bring off the bench, even if you look at the game against United. What options apart from Ozil or someone else when Gredozzi was there? How much has Una Emre really not rate Jeffrey Nayadle? Then when you consider we haven't got any money now... Um, I can see why he could potentially be frustrated with Jeffrey Nayadley because if I look at it without emotion and if I, if I look at it as someone that was coming in trying to fin um, chop the squad, when you look at it, obviously Jeffrey Nayadley didn't go on tour with the boys. He obviously got subbed after coming on against Bournemouth in pre-season. You knew what time it was from that. I get why he could be frustrated with, with him. Um, I don't understand how you couldn't use him in the squad, but I understand how he could be frustrating because he's got a lot of ability. There's a few players... Few players are, um, Few players that have as much technical ability as him, in my opinion. Like, of course, I'm going OTT. I think he's got a lot to his game. He obviously can dribble past players. He can hit free kicks and take corners and things like that. He's a, he's got bravado. Obviously, that can be a source of frustration if you've been watching him at, um, at his new club. Um, there was one incident. His team lost two one. I was watching the game. He elected to take the penalty, and it wasn't his to take. He wasn't he wasn't the penalty taker. If he scored, it would have been great. He missed. The team lost. Now you can get away with that under twenty three football. Um, first team level. Another team might have sold might have sold him, or he never would have played again. Now NJ clearly love him. They had him on loan, and he obviously he obviously um done enough to impress. Another thing, if I look back to the Lyon game, I'm so sure I made a video about it. He had a very good game. He was taking the threat to Lyon, but there was times he probably put unwanted pressure on his team. He's dribbling out of his own area and getting caught in his own area as well, to be honest with you. Um, and if I'm honest as well, his stamina probably needs to improve because I do think he's one of them players, um, his standards aren't as quite as high in the 20th minute as it might be in the 70th or 75th, but he's still a young player. And the biggest issue as well... For as good good as he, as he, as as good as his dribbling is, and as strong as a, of a strong dribbler he is, statistics will back that up. Goals and assists he's lacking. I'm so sure he's only got one assist, and he's yet to find the back of the net for Andre. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. So obviously, as much as I would have liked him to stay in the squad, and I feel like he could have positively contributed at some capacity, whether as a squad player or a regular. Um, there's no goals and assists. Again, not to get Iwobi, but um, Iwobi's decision-making is probably better than um, Rene Adelaide's because of um, the development. But if you consider the in-form, out-of-form that Iwobi's been in, the injuries with Welbs and all of these things, how could he have not been used in the squad? The, the sheer amount of games we're playing, he must have really not rated him. Now, obviously, at this age, he wanted to go and play football and you know, we probably couldn't guarantee it. But... How much have you not got a rated of of rated him, especially if you knew you was gonna loan out Nelson, so there'd be just on the space basis of bodies, you might not have been able to guarantee he could play, but on the space of bodies, there's that. Obviously, who else? What other factors are there as well? There's a couple other factors. Obviously, we've been linked with a Konku as well, who can play in midfield as well on the flanks. Different player, um, slightly to Jeffrey and Adley, but on that basis, if you're signing a 20 year old that can play in them same roles, and again, I'm not saying no because I like a Konku. How much did have you have not got it to rate Jeff? Now, I think Jeff, I'm not here to say Jeff is going to be top class or world class. I don't know. I just feel he could have positively contributed to Arsenal in some capacity. I think he's going to be a good player. He's only 21 and he is, if you look at it as, as without emotion and things like that, and if he was a prospective Premier League club and stuff, you would buy him. He's got a lot of um, a lot of potential and he is a good player, but he's also a case of frustration. So he probably needs to mature a bit more, get some experience. Ultimately, there's no way around getting out of goals and assists. Um, mainly experience for me and he'll be back in the Prem or playing at a top level or playing for the likes of Lyon or, or I would say Monaco but Monaco have kind of fallen off or Marseille or a more reputable French club or German club or Italian club back in the Prem wherever I do think that's the case for him he just probably needs to mature a bit and we probably will look at it as why did we lose why did we um, sell him for 1.6 million in my opinion but I just feel and the, the thing I like about Jeff it's a curse right now because I said it's frustrating He's got bravado. That will take him a long way. It doesn't matter if he's playing in, 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 in more inside the midfield or in the flanks. He's got bravado. The same bravado that failed him with the penalty incidents, I've just said, will serve him well because you need courage as a footballer. I like his willingness to take people on, to try skills, to try new things. He, he just needs to mature a bit and he'll be a very good player, in my opinion. And we obviously miss Gnabry, but 
we could equally miss him as well. Once he, once he gets goals and assists, he keeps high standards throughout the whole game, decision-making and stamina all click into place, he'll be a good player. And to be honest with you, a lot of these things I'm calling for are relative to his age. Um, maybe, maybe Arsene Wenger could have afforded to play him a bit more, but when you look at the things I'm saying, maybe in hindsight... He didn't deem he was ready and that's probably, well, you saw that's the reason he went out on loan last year um, to go and get that maturity up and things. And it's not going to happen over two seasons. He's only 20-21. It's not going to happen. Um, but players are need players need to be given time. I rate him because he wasn't here for the play play thing. You know, Henry said you weren't rating me. All right, cool. I'm gonna go and play top flight football elsewhere. Same way with Daniel Marlin. He obviously flew in pre season. He thought, all right, cool, man. I've got a taste of being around the first team. I'm not really feeling this under 23 football thing anymore. He's now at PSV. You see him come off the bench and playing at the Newell Camp. But Nasir probably the biggest success story of recent years. He's obviously went. He left. He went. Um. He went Empoli or whatever, and he's being linked with Napoli and Roma and these things. Off topic as well, Crowley scored for his team the other day. Um, Crowley's not the best example of this bit, probably the other end of the spectrum, but under the Ludi Guna, I, I feel I have to share any information you might possibly not know or that I found out and want to share in regards to the club. So I thought, right time to drop it, but... Yeah, man, I love Rene. I love just Jeff Rene I was in love with his technical ability. I think he was a bad boy footballer and... I've been asking myself this for months now. Every time I look at our squad and there's not really anyone on the bench or there's no options to bring off the bench or we're kind of stretched, I've got to think, how much did you really not rate Une? Um, did you really not rate Jeffrey Nayadley, Une? Like, how much did you really not rate him, Une? But it is what it is, man. We're at this point now. He's gone. I, like I said, I like him, so I wanted to develop as far as he possibly goes, man. Hopefully he returns to Arsenal if, he's like, if he gets to that level. But, yeah, man, people deluded, comment, subscribe, and do the rest. I'm out.